Hi, welcome to the Bi-Weekly Show, and I am Kyle Schickner, and this week I come to you with a bit of a heavy heart, which is a really, really fancy way of saying I'm, I'm fucking sad. Uh, earlier this week, my producing partner of over 10 years and um, dear friend Sam Jones died. Um, I cannot begin to express and explain the importance Sam has had for... Um, for me as a person and also as for friends that are films um, in terms of helping getting the kind of films we we produce for films that most people don't want anything to do with um, films that tell stories about strong women and uh, people of color and the LGBT community movies that um, like I said are hard to make and and Sam immediately when I first came to him um, when I first met him and, and, and proposed making a, do a fake documentary, a mockumentary called Full Frontal about a really bad film director who decides to make really even worse bisexual porn. Uh, he didn't once say to me, no, he didn't say no one wants to see it. Um, he said, where do I got to be? What do you need? And that was always Sam. Sam would always, um, no matter what I would need, I would, you know, you'd call Sam and I wouldn't necessarily talk to him for a couple weeks and I would call Sam and I say, hey Sam, what you know? Let's produce. Let's make a movie about a gay black man in Louisiana that gets lynched. Um, and uh, his questions weren't, well, "Who's going to see that?" or "What are you talking about?" That's my Sam impersonation. I'm usually much better, but uh, my my. Uh, well, well, who's going to see that? I wasn't ever his question. His 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 first response was, "When are we going? When are we packing our bags?" Um, you know, I talk a lot, a lot on this, on this, on this show, and, and and in my past about the L, the G, the B, and the T getting together and, and working together. And Sam was the the embodiment of that. Sam was the person who I knew because it worked because of Sam that it could be done. That there doesn't have to be animosity. And there has to have to be suspicion. Or um, it was all about um, working together. And you know, I mean, we all need. I'm not going to lie that this is not easy. This is probably my 30th time trying to do this. Um, uh, I, I wrestled whether I should even waste my, not waste, if I should bring my um, this to the show, but my feeling was this is what's going on in my world, and this is important. Um, without Sam, there would be no Rosemary their name, there would be no Steam, there would be no Full Frontal or Strange Fruit or um, the It Gets Better videos that I've done. Uh, for the bi community, um, he helped produce those, and um, you know he was. You know everyone needs. We all need someone in our life that we know we can call at two in the morning, and just say, "Hey, I am in trouble. I need you to come over here and you help me get rid of the body." And Sam was that guy. Sam was the person who never questioned your friendship. Never would just be there for you and I've I've experienced that very few times in my life um, and I've never experienced it more with Sam Jones. Sam allowed me to be an asshole, allowed me to make mistakes and um, and make and mistakes I've made. I mean, I, you know, and not once did Sam ever say, did not once did Sam ever judge me. Sam, um, a few years back, I uh, I did some stuff I'm not proud about. I didn't, you know, rob any banks or, um, you know, break it, you know, break any laws. But I, I certainly was careless with people's with someone's heart and emotions and someone that Sam cared about deeply. And as I, as I was going through it, he never once shut me out. He never once made me feel like a bad person. He let me know that he loved me. And um, that he wasn't happy with what I was doing, and 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 just you know, and and, I, and I'm rambling, and I don't care anymore. I, I can't, I can't get through this uh, cleanly, and I don't think I need to. I don't think I need. I don't think Sam is is would be sitting there saying, you know, ah, oh, you gotta do it again. Uh, you know, those that know Sam, uh, he was just a big personality. He was um, a lot of people. You know, Sam was, <laughs> Sam liked pissing people off. Sam enjoyed that. Sam often would like to piss me off and piss 
um, people off. We were filming a movie in New Jersey. Um, we we're filming a movie with Steam, called Steam, and uh, we were staying at a hotel, a fancy hotel, and they were handling the, the food, and they were handling the, uh, the the staying there. And it was a, a lot of money we were, we were putting them up, and they were having a hard problem. We were having a hard time with them. And Sam was mostly dealing with the talent, and I remember he was very. Him and Ruby D really, um, they spent a lot of time in the trailer just talking. They're from the same generation. They knew a lot of the same people. Um, and I always were worried because, again, Sam could be brash. But, you know, everyone, you know, he, he could shut it off. He could turn it on. He could shut it off. He could be the most charming southern man in the world. And he can be the biggest asshole in the world. And we are having trouble with this hotel. And they were, we were just not getting it right. And we finally said, you know what, Sam, go down there, deal with it. And in a half hour... Sam came back and everything was fixed and and then we suddenly got free cookies on set for the rest of the shoot um because he has no problem he doesn't he didn't I can't even uh, talking about him in the past tense is silly um he doesn't um care about what people think uh, he only cares about his friends and his family and um what he worked on I used to uh I took a trip, so, you know, this this story will mean nothing to anyone that doesn't know him, but uh, this I, it means a lot to me. I took a trip once to, to Phoenix with Sam, we are shooting a video, and we decided, Sam decided, let's, um, let's drive because we'll save money. Um, it, was, it was one of the lower budget uh, shoots we did, so we decided to drive. Me and Sam got in his um, minivan, and we drove through the desert, and... Uh, I, 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 I still, we would sit there, and I drove away, and, and Sam liked to talk, and Sam sat there for the entire six hours, and he, and he, and he, did, and he was very particular, he didn't like being uncomfortable, so he took his seatbelt, and he constantly just yanked at it, yanked at it, yanked at it, and for six hours straight, just boom, just, you know, just boom, and as we drove, he narrated what we saw, and we'd be driving, and he would see what the tire place would drive by, and he would look at it, he goes, tires, thirty nine ninety nine. you want tires? Motel 6, $16.99, there's a buffet, a free buffet, and the whole time for six hours he just went on um, to the point where I, <laughs> I wanted to leave him in the desert. I mean, I certainly, and, I, and, uh, um, and, and people who know him can hear him and do it, and, and um, he had a laugh that, um, that was the craziest laugh ever and I'm not even going to try to impersonate it. I used to be able to do it well I haven't heard it in a while and, and knowing I'm not going to hear it again um, kind of sucks you know and it's it's funny I used to joke I used to tease Sam he was very pale um, this is a this is a shot of Sam on uh, on the set of Paradise Lost the horror movie that he actually was in playing the sleazy producer of a reality show. And he was very pale, and I used to tease him. I used to tease him that he was, I used to say, um, and maybe this is in bad taste, um, but I think he would he would do his little laugh. Um, I used to tease him saying that he was the undead, or he was Nosferatu, or he's a vampire. And, uh, and this week, thinking about it and, and realizing um, maybe I wasn't so wrong, that uh, he is undead. He uh, he is in every frame of my movies, every single second and frame and image. He is a part of it, and he is. He will always be when people watch the films, and anybody gets any kind of uh, feels uplifted or feels. A part of a community that is a big part of Sam, and he um, he will live on in our memories, and he will live on in those films, uh, and those. Um, so he was, he is the undead. He is un, un, unkillable. He is my Dracula, and I will miss him. And I love him very much. And uh, you know, what else can you say, Sam? Thank you. Thank you so much for believing in me and loving me and trusting me and most of all being my friend. <laughs>